What do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing as a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, We'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I said, do you want to teach in a riding school? Uh, let's go through with it. What do you want? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. The only way to become a master of something is to be really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So uh, don't, don't worry too much. Uh, that's, uh, everybody's, uh, somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others who are. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like and to teach your children to follow in the same track. See, what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating them to live the same sort of lives we're living in order that they may justify themselves and find satisfaction in life by bringing up their children to bring up their children to do the same thing so it's all wretch and no vomit. It never gets there. And so, therefore, it's so important to consider this question, what do I desire?
wanna tell you something Dressed in a stunning red Your head upon my chest The pain inside means nothing
No one's gonna love you like I do
there are rocks. Watch out. Watch out. Because the rocks are going eventually to come alive. And they're going to have people crawling over them. It's only a matter of time. Just in the same way that the seed, the acorn, is eventually going to turn into the oak. Because it has the potentiality of that within it. Rocks are not dead. You see, it depends on what kind of attitude you want to take to the world.
Man is a little germ that lives on an unimportant rock wall that revolves about an insignificant star on the outer edges of one of the smaller galaxies. But on the other hand, if you think about that for a few minutes, I am absolutely amazed to discover myself on this rock ball.